Welcome to Scrubbing In. I'm Paul Ross, and I'm going to take you around Navy Medicine to show who we are and what we do. I'm at this pond today visiting the stars of today's show, mosquitoes, in their local habitat. We're headed back to the Naval Medical Research Center, where we're going to find out how they use these little guys in development of vaccines for diseases such as malaria. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm already feeling a little itchy. Our first stop in the insectary was where they grow and harvest mosquitoes for their trials. I'm here with U.S. Army Major Silas Davidson, an entomologist. He's going to take me around the insectary, uh, but first, why don't you explain to me what you guys do? We raise mosquitoes and we study malaria, and we also support uh, vaccine development trials. So how does a vaccine development trial work? So we raise the mosquitoes, and then we infect some of them with malaria. Then we have them bite people to challenge and the vaccine. Am I going to get bit by mosquitoes today? Yes. But none with actual malaria? No. Okay, well... Let's get started then. All right. So this is the insectary where we raise our mosquitoes. So you'll notice it's a little warm and humid in here. It's about 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 80% humidity. That's because that's how the wow. mosquitoes grow the best in here. Got it. So because mosquitoes are aquatic, we have to rear them in water. So this is how the, the process starts. So. We, have, we add the eggs of the mosquitoes, these little rings to keep them in place. And then we add yeast for them when they first hatch out of the eggs. Then we add fish food later on. And they go through four different growth stages as larvae, we call those instars. Yeah, so it takes about eight days from when we put the egg in there to they're the pup pupating we're ready to pull them out of these racks. Okay, and then where do they go from the racks? After we take the pupae out, we put them in these plastic cartons. So I'll show you one down here that has just had pupae added to it, so yesterday. You can see the adults are already emerging and there's probably three to 400 adults in each of these cartons. They have males and females. We add uh, these cotton balls at the top have sugar water added to them, so that's what they both feed on for the energy source. So at any given time, about how many mosquitoes are in this room right now? Uh, we produce anywhere from 10,000 to 20,000 females a week. Wow, so these lids are on here tight then? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next, we went to the challenge room to see how they test their vaccines. So we're now in the challenge room, and I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Lindsay Garber, the Hi. science center partner, nice and she'll explain Lindsay. the process. Okay. All right. So, these are the mosquitoes that we would use for your challenge. You see, we've got five female mosquitoes in there. All right. And we're going to have you sit down. And we need these mosquitoes to bite your forearms. We'd have you roll up your sleeve. How's that? Go. Good enough. All right, so we're gonna put your arm on the mosquitoes. Right now. We're, we're just jumping right into this. Yeah, you nervous? A little bit. Here we go, ready? All right, so you're gonna feel the mosquitoes start to bite you. We're gonna put this towel yeah, over your arm. They're biting already. Yeah, they like to bite in the dark, so yeah. hopefully it's gonna get even better. And we're gonna give you Five minutes for this to happen. Ready? Okay. Start. Your five minutes goes. Five minutes. Yep. Okay. We got it. And it's amazing how the time just seems to fly by when your food for mosquitoes. So it's not five minutes, right? No. Okay. While I was waiting, Dr. Garver explained to me the process for the challenges. So what we're doing is trying to essentially give you malaria to test a vaccine, and we're doing this via the natural route. This is how people get malaria in nature. The mosquito bites them and it puts the parasites into your skin. Right. So this is the, the most natural way we can test vaccines, and, and that's why we call them the challenge. We are challenging whether the vaccine works or not. All right, 348. And after what seemed like an hour, the five minutes was up. Three, two, one, there we go. You're All done, right. all right, go ahead and pull off. Okay. How do you feel? Uh, itchy. Yeah. Like uh, insects were just biting my arm for five minutes. Yes. Right? So do you see? You've got a couple of little yep. pin pricks there that are and starting see, to I've, light up. I've got some of my blood. Yes. In, in there. You can see, right? Okay. So yep. do you see the ones that have fed? Yeah, they're moving a lot slower now. They're moving slower, so they're super full, and you can see they've got big, fat, bright red bellies filled with me. Filled, filled with, with your blood. My blood. Yes. And they're so. Okay. So they're fed. Yeah. My arm itches. Yes. Timer's done. What's the next step? So, we know now that these are fed. We can see that. But we have to make sure that they're actually infected. So, 
To do that, we have to dissect out their salivary glands and see if there's parasites in there. Then it was time to meet Catherine Walker, a research assistant who actually dissects the mosquitoes to see if they're infected. So I'm here with Catherine Walker, a research assistant, and she's going to show me the next step, which I believe is dissecting these mosquitoes. Correct. Uh, so I'll be dissecting the mosquitoes that fit on you um, to remove their salivary glands, basically transfer them to a well and look at them under the scope to make sure that uh, the mosquitoes were actually infected with sporozoites. If a mosquito is infected, sporozoites can be seen around their salivary gland under a microscope. These parasites get passed from the mosquitoes into the human bloodstream through their bites. And that's how people become sick with diseases, like malaria. And basically what they look like under the scope are tiny little eyelashes. And we're looking for a decent number to make sure that you were infected. Now obviously um, these were just mock mosquitoes, so your salivary glands are not infected. But I do have a sample of salivary glands with sporozoites that we can go ahead and take a look at. Great, let's take a look at it. All right, so this is what you would see if the mosquitoes were infected. You see these little tiny, um, what are the sporozoite parasites, the infective stage, and they kind of look like tiny eyelashes. So we have a pretty good number right here on the screen. Um, so if this was a real challenge, we would be happy with, with what we see. So just to be clear, this is not my sample. That's correct, this is a difference. I have none of these tiny eyelash. Things. Nope, no eyelashes. Okay, well that is good to hear and I appreciate you having me out. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Before wrapping up my visit, I wanted to speak with the deputy head of the malaria department, Dr. Steve Lazeski, to gain a deeper perspective of what Navy Medicine is doing to fight diseases like malaria. Can you explain to me uh, why doing things like developing vaccines for malaria is important to Navy readiness? Well, malaria traditionally has been one of the uh, one of the big scourges of military personnel. Malaria is a major, major public health concern in many of the area, parts of the world where we go. Uh, West Africa, Southeast Asia, those areas are, malaria is a huge public health problem. And if, if the population has malaria and we go in there, we're gonna get malaria. For adults who haven't grown up in areas where malaria, it's, very, it's a very, very serious disease. It could, it could kill us. Not only are we trying to develop these vaccines for our service members, but we're also using them to treat local populations. That's, that is the goal. Uh, there is a major effort with World Health Organization and Bill, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation um, to eradicate uh, the scourge from the world. And we are definitely part of those efforts. Uh, we feel that the vaccines that we develop here uh, could be a major component of the uh, of the efforts to eradicate malaria from the world. It's not gonna be a single, a single magic bullet that gets rid of this disease. It's very, very difficult to get rid of, uh, but, a, but we believe a malaria vaccine will be one of, the, uh, one of the key components to eradicating malaria. At the Infectious Disease Directorate at the Naval Medical Research Center, I've seen how they grow bacteria, been stuck with a needle, and bit by mosquitoes. But the whole reason for these things is to protect our warfighters and keep them ready. I want to thank you, Dr. Porter, for having us out here today. It was our pleasure, Paul. It looks like you survived. I did. I did. And I want to thank you guys for joining us on Scrubbing In. We'll see you next time.